Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by your local Fairway Food Store. This is the 80 Entire Street Section, and you're watching Friday Night Blitz. <laughs> Well, welcome into the final Friday Night Blitz of the season. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brand. Well, we have reached the final game of the week for the season, and it's a pretty familiar matchup uh, from earlier this season, but uh, this time the stakes are even higher with the trip to the state semis on the line. I can't believe the semifinals are next week. I can't believe <laughs> I it's the last blitz of the year, but tonight's it. You win, and you go to the Dome, and you lose, you go home. And that reigns true for our game of the week between ADM and North Polk. This game happened earlier this season. It was a lot warmer back then. ADM won in early September in a 29-20 comeback victory. The Tigers made the playoffs a year ago, but lost in the first round. They didn't have a problem in the first round this year, rolling over Grinnell 56-0. North Polk has resurged their program from a 3-6 season last year to an 8-2 record this year with a dominant first round win over Creston. It's been over a decade since either team has made a trip to the Dome. ADM hasn't made it since 2011, and the Comets made their only appearance in 2010 for the trip to the state championship game. It's all or nothing tonight in the rematch. One of those teams is going there, and it is the Tigers at home against the Comets in the rain. Good showing from the student section. Lots of ponchos. First quarter, ADM leads 6-0. North Polk hands it off to Brady Miller. He keeps his legs churning. Looks like the play's dead, but it's not. The pile drives in to the end zone. Wow. Touchdown, North Polk. They lead 7-6, but ADM comes right back. Aiden Flora takes it in himself on the QB run. Extra points no good. 12-6, Tigers. ADM marching again. It's Flora. He dumps it off to Kale Yaukum, but he's stuffed in the backfield for a loss. Very next play, Flora again tries for Morse, and this one is caught on the diving catch for the score. ADM leads 18-7, and they win 68-42. They're heading back to the Dome for the first time since 2011. Well, another top contender in Class 3A, Harlan taking on Nevada. Noah Mills drops back to pass, but it's going to be picked off by Aiden Hall. Cyclones gets the ball deep in Cubs territory. Now, you saw him make a play on defense, but he can do some good stuff on offense, too. They pitch it to him, and he breezes on by the Nevada defenders, leaves him in the dust. He takes it in for a touchdown, and Harlan leads 7 nothing. Now, still in the first, Tegan Casperbauer is going to connect with him over the top, and you couldn't have drawn it up any better. He takes it to the house for a 60-yard touchdown, and they extend the lead lead to 14. The Cyclones were just dominant in this game. It's how they've been all season, really. And Harlan rolls past Nevada 55 to 7 to punch their ticket to the semifinal. Well, let's head to Humboldt now as the Wildcats host Independence. First quarter, Will Ornis fakes the handoff and finds Corey Detman downfield. Hits him in stride and he makes his way into the end zone for the first score of the game for Humboldt. Second quarter now, Wildcats have it back at their own 30. Lance Kuhn gets the hands off and he finds an opening on the outside. It looks like they're going to drag him down around the 45, right? Well, no, he just runs over the guy in front of him and it's nothing but open field from there. He takes it 70 yards for the touchdown. We'll move to the third quarter. Cats leading 14-6. This play looks like it's going very, very wrong. You can even hear a fan on the screen on the stream saying, oh no, but somehow Ernest finds a man in the end zone for the touchdown and Humboldt goes on to get the win over Independence 34-26. And in Class 2A, Williamsburg blanks Centerville 35 to nothing. Well, we are going to take a quick break. That flew by, but still to come here on Friday Night Blitz, we'll see which 5A teams punch their tickets to the dome.